Good morning everybody, welcome to this week's Win It In A Minute and we've got four fantastic contestants. We've got Therese, we've got Gillian, we've got Simon and we have Crawford. So we're going to go straight over to them for this week's challenge. The challenge is to get 50 Skittles or M&Ms into five individual glasses in the quickest time. So who's going to win this week's Win It In A Minute? Actually, just before we do that, we've got a sneak insight into some of the pressures that the contestants feel each week. It's not easy to do this. So let's just have an insight into the pressure that Simon Hendrick felt in doing Win It In A Minute. Over to Simon. Take five. Win it in a minute challenge. Using my right hand, 50 sweets. Brown, yellow, blue, green, orange. (sighs) 
Well, as you can see, the stakes are high. And so let's go. Five, four, three, two, one. Away you go. Brilliant, you all did uh, absolutely amazing. Gillian, you managed 25. Crawford, you managed 50 in 55 seconds. Therese, you managed your 50 in 48 seconds. But this week's winner, managing his 50 in a spellbounding 42 seconds. Must have been all those that practice, Simon, and you didn't let the pressure get to you. You crashed it on through. So, Simon Hendrick, you are our winner this week in Win It In A Why Minute. We now move on to the rest of our service. Well, welcome to our review of 2020. I hope you've had a really good Christmas uh, day and Boxing Day. I know you're just relaxed, maybe in your pyjamas, dressing gown, feet up, cup of coffee, watching our online gathering and our review of the year. And there we started with Win It in a Minute. I know some of you loved it and some of you hated it, um, but it was part of uh, the year for a little while. A year that has so many different memories and so many diff difficult times but a year I'd like to spend just uh, reviewing over the next hour and first of all I'm going to show you a clip just a small clip of how it all began really the first two months seemed pretty normal and then as we went into March we began to realize that we were going to be in lockdown this is the room that uh, by the end of March was turned into a recording studio and uh, we put lots and lots of various things together in this room including this first one which was really an update on, on how we were going to respond as a church to Covid-19. Notice that I talk about weeks, maybe months. Uh, I think we, we were all then thinking it might be over by May or June how wrong we were. But there you go, enjoy this one. Well, good afternoon everybody. And uh, we've got to the end of the first week where it felt completely strange and completely unusual. And these are strange times and uh, we're trying to adapt to them as fast as we can as a church to make sure that you are connected and can I encourage you over these next few weeks, months, however long we can't meet together as a church, that you stay calm, you stay courageous, you stay connected and you stay caring. So I just want to share with you a few of the plans over the next uh, few uh, weeks for us as a church. We're doing our best to try and support you while staying safe and so these are the plans we've put in place. So on Sunday we're going to have church at home which will be broadcast uh, via live stream on our Facebook page so you can join that at 10.30 a.m. on this Sunday. Uh, you don't actually need a Facebook account. And then pretty soon we got creative. And this was one of the most creative moments 
of the whole year when the youth got together to help Jamie with his toilet roll crisis. We We did many action songs over the lockdown and thank you to everyone who threw themselves into that. This was one of the highlights. It didn't involve any children, but the staff put this together for Father Abraham. Yes. 
Worship has always been a huge part of our lives together and we love the fact that God inhabits the praises of his people. And so worship was a huge part of our year as well. And uh, what I've just done is I've taken a snapshot of how we have progressed things over the year. The first one from our first live streamed service ever in our front lounge with Owen standing in front of a TV screen with the words on and the rest of the people off camera. Things have changed quite considerably since then and we've made huge progress and a big thank you to Addy and the rest of the tech team uh, for that. But you'll see the progress over time right to the end where a few weeks ago Adriana uh, debuted her brand new song uh, which was truly amazing. So anyway, let's enjoy worshipping together.
what you want to help me God I know that there's nothing you can do I give my life to you you are my only truth and I just need you every day Jesus you're my joy and you're my strength always send your spirit in my life to guide me here I am I'm listening other creative um, inspiration I guess it is over the uh, lockdown and some of those are revolved around dance and I'm going to show you three clips now of very very different clips the first one is many of you getting on God's great dance floor second one is Jim Price who tap danced every day for a month to raise money for Northampton NHS fantastic job Jim and the final one is a very moving piece of dance performed by Maddie Town, which was shown on Easter Sunday. Enjoy. <laughs>
Okay, everybody, that's a wrap.
just want to say a thank you to everyone who has um, spoken during this lockdown year, whether it's preaching a sermon on a Sunday or whether it's doing a reflection. Uh, thank you to all who've contributed and thank you for your willingness to do it live on Zoom or pre-recorded or whatever else we threw at you. Thank you ever so much. And uh, I'm just going to share now a few thoughts as we come to the end of this year. I hope you've really enjoyed our review of the year. And for me personally, it's been a strange experience to look back at all that's happened over this year in the life of the church. A year so dominated by a virus which we were just beginning to hear about at the start of the year. And when I look back to put this review together, I'm struck by all the ways we've tried to connect over the year as a church. I've been able to pick out a few highlights, but there is so much more. There's the QR codes that were placed on Bradlaugh Fields and the mums meet and the Zoom prayer meetings and the pastoral care Zoom calls and the senior lunch Zoom catch-ups and the after church virtual coffee and the craft and chat on Zoom and the shopping for each other and the baking for each other, the supporting and caring for each other, the youth mentoring and the youth Zooms and the food bank donations and the family challenges and all the work that went on, the risk assessments and the building development and so much more. Plus the photos and videos, reflections and blogs that you sent through and all the many other things that you've done to support and connect with each other that we may never know about. In the story of God coming as a baby to earth, which we've been thinking about over the last few weeks, we have this incredible time where Mary expresses her joy that she's being trusted to carry and raise God's son. Let me read it to you. And Mary said, my soul glorifies the Lord and my spirit rejoices in God, my saviour. For he has been mindful of the humble state of his servant. From now on, all generations will call him blessed. For the mighty one has done great things for me. Holy is his name. His mercy extends to those who fear him from generation to generation. Luke 1, 46 to 50. It's an incredible song of praise and trust in her heavenly father. Even when all that's going on her is not fully understood at that time. This is how one theologian put it. Mary is not simply a receptacle of the divine housing him, as it were. She supplies his humanity from her own body. Her blood forms him, her food nourishes him, her breasts feed him. Jesus is made of her, not just in her. While Mary's experience is un utterly unique and reminded today that each one of us shares something of that privilege. God's Son dwells within us by the Holy Spirit and he trusts us to use the elements of our lives, our bodies, our gifts, our relationships, our unique points of view to carry his presence into the world. What an honour that God trusts each one of us. Mary's life plans had just been turned upside down as an unwed mother who faced a potential scandal of enormous proportions. Yet she believed that God is doing greater things through her. Praise is exploding out of her because she's assured of her importance to God. I wonder, what's your reaction when your ambitions are thwarted? When your carefully curated plans come undone, if we're honest, maybe we were more like to express disappointment and panic than praise. You see, Mary's song challenges us to remember that my importance to God is not measured by how successful our lives appear to others or to ourselves. 
For nine months, Jesus was growing in the womb of Mary. Only she and Joseph knew what God was up to. And actually others would only begin to really discover some 30 years later. God was at work, even though it was not yet fully revealed. You may know already, but the game that's been most popular this year is chess. You may have seen the excellent Netflix series called The Queen's Gambit, which has contributed to a renewed interest in this game. Now, I can play chess, but I'm not very good at it. However, even I know that much of the moves you make are setting yourself up for a win later. You must know not just your next move, but the next few moves as well. Your moving pieces with maybe your opponent not knowing quite what you are doing. It might not all make sense at the time, but you are positioning yourself ready for later. It seems to me that this year has been a time similar to that, when God is preparing us for something new. We may not see all that he is doing, but I believe he is positioning us all ready to move. All the different pieces on the chessboard being placed in position, ready. Church, can we be patient now? And in our patience, can we trust that God is doing this, even if we don't fully see it yet? Can we see that he's doing something new during this global crisis? At Christmas, we are reminded through the story of Mary that God was at work in unseen ways to bring about the rescue plan for the whole world through the birth of his son, Jesus. Mary had been told it and now she had to trust in God as her waistline expanded over the months. God is at work. We are going through our own reformation. We're being changed as a church. Will you all join me in 2021 in allowing God to continue to position us as he wishes, ready for the springtime? when we will see new birth. All God asks of us is to trust him in all circumstances and continue to praise him just as Mary did, even if our plans have been changed. Let us go into the new year trusting God more than ever as we carry his spirit in each and every one of us. And finally, Let's continue to cheer each other on into greater depths of discipleship this next year. And as I close, let us use this final song to sing over each other and our community as a prayer for the new year. Let's together sing the blessing. The Lord bless you all. Amen.
going to close uh, now uh, but I hope you'll go with that uh, blessing ringing in your ears uh, to bless others um, we... well sometimes uh, when we do stuff online it goes wrong but when you're pre-recording you can make sure that that's never seen until now and I just want to say a huge thank you to Karen for all the hours she was willing to host with me and record with me and just put up with everything moving online and our house being taken over for the purpose of church. Thank you for her willingness to serve me and you and her God. Um, uh, but as you know, in any relationship, it can be challenging. And so here are some of the outtakes that we hoped would never see the light of day. We're going to close with this. May I take this opportunity to wish you all a happy new year and enjoy this final review with the outtakes from this year. God bless you all.
I think it's a real good opportunity for us to come together. Last night, I spent my, my evening with a glass, not last night, oh no, I can't say last night. No. Mm. I do wonder if this microphone is working. I hope it is because it would make life a whole lot easier, yes. but let's see. I'm gonna record this and then try and play it back to myself. It's great to worship together and uh, thank you, Steve, for that. We're now gonna move over. Oh, shush, shush. Oh, I don't know how to start, Edson. Just pray. Just go straight into pray. Let's yeah. pray, something like that. Yeah. We'll just start praying. Let's pray together. At the end of the video, there's just gonna be a little bit of time to pray. <laughs> At the end of the video, I'm putting my hair straight. So we're going to have a nod, and we're going to now hear uh, Jamie tell us why he uh, believes in Jesus. Is that right? This is why I follow Jesus. Okay, we'll do it again. Sorry. Okay. Himself, uh, sharing his testimony of how he came to know Jesus. So let's change. Can we do that again? <laughs> Don't say testimony, I hate that word. Okay. Uh, Jamie Story. telling us this is why he follows Jesus. Let's go with it. Praise what happened. Yeah. Yeah. I, don't, I just don't know. And I won't remember all the details from oh, okay. all the practical stuff I don't always, because you know where it all is and I don't know where it all is. Well, I could do that bit, I couldn't I? Yeah. Okay. It just feels weird saying thank you, Adam. <laughs> Not me to do it then. We'll try it Try. Thank you, Adam, for that talk. That's okay. <laughs> thank you, Adam, for that talk. Thank you, uh, Chief. <laughs> Good Thank morning. You. Hello, church. Glad you enjoy. Oh, glad you enjoy. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. <laughs> Good morning. Good morning, church. Great to see you this morning. Hope you're well. Hope you've had a great weekend. Thank you for joining us. Let us know where you're joining us from and who you are, if you don't know already who you are. <laughs> Good morning. Are you awake or? Yes. I thought we got it. Good morning. Good morning, church. So glad you've uh, joined us. So good you've found us. What's uh, <laughs> <laughs> funny about that? Every time Dad messes up, we laugh. So glad you've joined us. So glad, glad you've you found us. <laughs> Can we just use the first one? Now, now Karen's sure. going to update us with the BBC <laughs> news. And now we're going to go over to Karen for the latest news updates. <laughs> God, there's so many videos. I should I leave it rolling? Yeah. Rolling, rolling, rolling. No, it's actually too complicated. It's you. No, it's you doing closing the door. You're doing the links first, don't you? No, after, after, after. <laughs> How many do you mean? We must do. 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 We must and where you're watching from on the live chat. <laughs> <laughs> and you've forgotten. <laughs> no, I was just waiting for it. I thought Dad was going to say something a bit more. No, that's live. That, 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 that intro was good, but you just sort of let him down. No, no, keep going because we can just have Honestly, it. people are going to think you never have a down day because you always say, Hi, guys. Smiley, smiley, Carol's 